Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Sewing Bunny. My name's Michelle, uh, I'm also joined with my cat, Misty. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to the channel and liked my videos. Um, it's just so nice that people have actually wanted to listen to my wafflings on about sewing, so thank you very much. So um, I'm sorry if you can hear her purring, she's really, really loud. <laughs> so today I would like to share with you my makes for November. Um, been a little bit of a busy bunny. <laughs> I've made a few things, um, but uh, I guess first things first, let's start off with what I'm wearing. So I, this, is, this is a make from November. And this is a Linden sweatshirt. Um, probably from if you've seen one of my other videos, um, I had made one for the first time and I really liked the pattern. So um, I decided to make a Christmas jumper. Seeing as we are in December, why not? <laughs> and um, as well as cats and bunnies, I also love polar bears. <laughs> so as you can see on here, we have, uh, have polar bears with some penguins, some owls, and some little roses as well, little winter roses. Um, this fabric was from Flamingo Fabrics, and um, this is a really nice soft uh, French terry. And the contrasting blue um, I got from eBay. Uh, it was a very cheap um, sweatshirting. Um, it doesn't have a great deal of, of stretch to it, but um, the Linden sweatshirt is very kind of uh, loose kind of fitting, so, um, yeah, it, it worked perfectly and fits really nice on me. So another thing I can share with you that I made in November, um, I was a bit late to the game in buying um, uh, Tilly's book Stretch. Um, I know it came out um, a while back and lots of people on YouTube have been talking about it, but I only recently bought it. So um, I decided to make a couple of bits from that. Um, first off, um, I made the BB skirt. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best lighting for it because it is in a navy, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll insert some, some pictures that might show it off a little bit better. Um, so yes, yeah, so um, I made this in this um, uh, Ponty, and I got this from a company called BST Fabrics, and um, it's got, um, it's basically uh, four panels. Um, along with a waistband um, and um, it's just just a really nice pencil skirt um, it was a little bit loose um, normally in tilly patterns I'm a size 4 and I've been absolutely fine with all of it this one was a little bit big um, but it, it, it's still okay still fits okay it's just a little bit loose around the waist um, but I thought it'd be really good for work um, and uh, just like you know kind of casual times you know kind of especially in the winter I can pair it with some tights as well um I just have to show you Misty because she's settled down under the table I thought you'd all like to see her <laughs> don't look so scared Misty oh and that's Bentley now Bentley wants to come in as well this is Bentley say hi Bentley <laughs> Yeah, they absolutely love being in this room with me, <laughs> but it's very small. <laughs> okay, so second thing that I made from the Tilly book stretch um, was the fryer top. Um, I'll start off with um, with this one because I did make two. Um, this one is a mustard floral, and this fabric came from Fabrics Galore. Um, I got it a while back in, uh, they had a sale, and um, this was something silly, like, I think it was like £2.50 a metre or something. Um, I do think it is still on their website. Um, I think it's gone up to about £4, I think, a metre now, because the sale, when I went, obviously, it's finished now. Um, but it's this lovely viscose jersey, and um, you can see on here, it's, it's very, very soft, um, and... Um, yeah, it, it went together really well. Tilly's instructions are always so good. Um, I don't class myself as being an absolute beginner, but I have only been sewing probably for just over a year, you know, properly. Um, and um, it, it's such an easy make. Everything went together really well. I think it fits really, really nicely. And um, I'm really happy with it. I've had so many compliments um, on this one. And for such a simple make, I'm so, I'm so happy with it. <laughs> So moving on to the second Freya top that I made in November, 
this one, um, I absolutely love this one and this fabric. This fabric came from John Lewis. Um, it was quite a while ago that I got it and it's one of those fabrics that I really wanted to save for something that I knew was really going to work. <laughs> um, it's it, it's all polyester jersey, but it's kind of um, almost kind of like a velour um, texture on there. And it's so snuggly. And because of the success of the, uh, of the mustard frayer, I thought, this is the perfect pattern to use it for. And I'm so happy that I did. I'm so happy with this. It's so warm as well. It's so good for these cold days we're having. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said before on the other one, it's such a quick, easy make. And uh, I just absolutely love it. Okay, so that was everything garment-wise that I'd, um, I'd made in November. But I also would like to share with you a couple of um, other bits that I've been working on, uh, ready for Christmas. Um, so, um, firstly, um, as you saw, my cat Bentley, he's actually reasonably new to the family. We got him in March this year um, from Cats Protection. And um, I, I thought, as it's his first Christmas with us, he does deserve a Christmas stocking. <laughs> so Misty does also have a Christmas stocking. My cats are my fur babies. So um, I thought, yes, Bentley needed a stocking to join everyone else's. So um, I got all the all the uh, all the fabric uh, buttons and everything from Hobbycraft. This probably only cost me a few pounds to make. It was so easy. I just literally drew a stocking shape, sewed it together, uh, put a little bit of this um, sparkly uh, felt on top, uh, did a bit of hand embroidery, which is, uh, it's not great, but <laughs> it does the job. And then along with these little orange buttons, because he's a little ginger cat, um, I thought that would be really nice for him. So also on the, on the Christmas um, crafting aspect, um, I bought a calendar from Hobbycraft, one of those um, wooden uh, calendars that you can paint. Um, I'll, I'll insert a picture of, uh, of the finished product here. Um, and I just thought it was a really nice thing to, uh, to have as a little project. Um, every year, we, we, uh, me and my other half Stuart, we, we don't... Um, really buy chocolate advent calendars and things like that we see them as being a little bit of a waste but um, this year I thought well how about we have one that we can use every year um, I can fill it with different things be it whether it's sweets chocolates you know little treats here and there um, then um, I thought that would be a good idea so um, yeah painted that up um, did that just over you know a couple of weekends and um, yeah so that's going to be a lovely a lovely part of our Christmas decorations this year. Okay, and lastly, um, as part of my Christmas crafting, um, last year I really tried to do a Christmas blanket, uh, a knitted Christmas blanket. Um, I didn't get round to finishing it <laughs> um, because I had to sew 64 individual squares. Um, and because uh, I wanted it to be big enough to, to cover at least the majority of our, of our sofa. Um, so I finished the 64 squares, um, but I didn't get round to sewing it all up um, in time for last year. So um, I thought, yes, it will definitely be done for Christmas 2019. And um, I'm so glad that I actually finally finished it <laughs> in November. Um, so I've sewed them all together um, and all in the Christmassy colours. And I can't wait to get that um, as part of our Christmas decorations. Um, it was going to just be an extra kind of snug part of, uh, of our Christmas. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me um, for looking at everything that I've made in November. Um, I really appreciate, uh, again, everybody who has subscribed to the channel. And um, yes, more to come. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye.